What's going on guys, Bob here back with some new genetic gladiators, so let's get into this. Hey, we're gonna be checking out PvP at Season 129, and uh, yeah, I've been just wanting to play PvP today, so I've done quite a few videos already, although this is gonna come out at different times, so um, yeah, we'll see how that works out, but uh, don't know too much of what to talk about um because you do run out of stuff to talk about honestly when you're making these videos especially if, when you're bulk recording i notice that or you're going to repeat yourself a lot um thing is not freaking loading i think somebody's yelling outside i don't know if you guys can hear that um come on really we're trying to get into that top three percent of course as you guys know to get the character so that way I can uh, finish off one of the... Well, actually, I don't think it finishes off the line that it's in because I think I'm still missing some characters or something. But to get closer to finishing off the research bingo card. So um, I do need the character. This guy's at five or 657. Normally, I would attack this, but I've been playing a lot, like I said, so I don't have good tags anymore. Like, I don't have really good... Like, yeah, I do have certain tags that are going to be really good. It's just, I don't know which ones they are. So, unfortunately, we're not going to attack that guy. Plus, I'm pretty sure if I attack that guy, he attacked me back. It's just not worth it. And that's basically a million freaking credits to switch, which at this point we're not going to do. I'm going to use this one just for the fact that uh, it's not really good to tag. I know it's going to be good for a heal, so... Yeah, that's what we're gonna use it for but um yeah that's basically all we're doing we're just playing a ton of pvp um chatting it up seeing different characters like you can see different characters that are starting to become characters that are going to be seen quite a bit in pvp well not all the time but uh certain characters like this one orion uh there's like a few other characters that uh, have been popping up quite a bit in PvP just because they're either trying to figure out if it's going to be a good defense team or um, if it's good to use and stuff like that. Like, there's different reasons for people to, to change their characters and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we, we have been seeing quite a few different ones. Um, I do get a ton of questions about orbs and stuff like that. Honestly, it all depends on whether you want to use the character for certain things because certain things are going to be better like this guy went with all hp because he's trying to outlast attacks basically is what he's trying to do um and then straight up speed so this is just a normal defense as well uh the only problem i have is yeah i could probably beat this guy it's just the tag plays a big factor in me actually winning this fight so I'm going to attack, if this tag does not kill one of the characters, there's it's there's a slim chance I'm going to either win or lose based off of the tag. So uh, we're about to see what happens. And they both have 100k, so I think I'm just going to go with the Zeal because I'm going to do more damage towards him uh, with X27 than I would uh, going for Surfer. So. Normal damage is going to be 30k because he attacks 3 times. So you take that off of both of these guys, that leaves them with 70k. So we're hoping the tag hits for 70 plus k. If it does not hit for that much, we might lose. But since I'm attacking Zeo, the Necro character, with the strong attack, I'm going to do more than 11k damage. So I'm going to hit for like 15, maybe 14k. So that does help me out a little bit more. That's why I'm attacking him over the other character. Uh, normally if I had a good tag, Surfer or Colossus, but I don't know what tag my, or how much my tag is going to do. So I didn't know it was a Colossus, I didn't know how much it was going to do, didn't know it was going to one shot. So that does help us out and it is a, like, it, there's just no way of telling unless they fix the whole tag system. Um... I'm gonna hit him again, I think. Hopefully he doesn't retaliate, doesn't kill me. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, we're just trying to get Surfer to attack Claw or Colossus X27, so that way he could hopefully use his tag, which he did not, 
So he does still have a chance to have attack. Um, just because they don't use it on the first attack doesn't mean that they don't have a tag that they could use on the next attack. So it's just the AI is sometimes just all over the place, honestly. Um, I know for a fact that I can one-shot Colossus with uh, Buffalo, but at the same time I'm like, I could also hit the Surfer, try to kill him, but we're just going to do this, kill him, and then we'll focus on the Surfer 2v1 at that point. So um yeah if you guys are using certain characters for your team and stuff like that just get used to using them like there's a reason i use the same setup of characters you don't have to use the one i use because i'm just using it based off of uh one the most characters i have that are maxed out at my evo are characters that I use mostly for tags or like X27 was for just based off of speed for PvE. So that's why he's a max character. Um, but like, yeah, if you guys notice my teams and stuff like that, you're like, it's not the best team and stuff like that. But I did get attacked and somebody took a ton of points because I dropped. Yeah, see. And yeah, we're not going to attack this guy back because I know he's going to be really good. Even if he's just at my level and stuff like that, it's, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. Um, I mean, we can check how much he, he is, but let's see. Yeah, so I can attack him back and probably win. But right now, my whole tag, the whole tag system that I, like, the whole tag, tag thing is just all over the place for me. But really, we're going to have to fight him, I guess. So I changed the opponent. Alright, that's why I didn't want to click on the damn revenge thing. I don't even know what the other one was. That sucks, because I could have used the... Uh, another thing you could do is like this whole revenge thing, you could have used it to change the opponent you're going to face. So that way you don't have to use credits. So, another little tidbit. Um, but then again, it could also screw you over and you click revenge and they could have 2,000. And you're still going to have to change your opponent. Or, I mean, you could just go down, scroll down pick three random characters and lose so that's a thing but like I said I don't know my tags so it, it kind of sucks for me yeah this guy says it's 144 but there's no guarantee that's what it is because people lie a lot for some reason in this game which just hurts honestly and if if I could like remove the person like right now and not have to go through four thousand five thousand friends then I probably would although uh, when I see people that are a lot lower like this and stuff like that um, I tend to use them as just heals so that's another thing you could do but yeah if they would just fix this whole tag system like I know this guy's tags okay I don't know what it is I don't know how much it's gonna hit for um, like it's just it kind of sucks um, I remember these guys' tags were somewhat, like, it's just hard to pick which tag to use. Uh, like, I know this guy was pretty high, but I just don't remember his tag. Um, and then also the gen type does play a factor. And I needed to hit for a certain amount, so that also plays a factor. Uh, there's just so much that goes into like I don't know if this guy's actually 234 if he is then it would be a pretty nice tag Even if it's a sucky tag, it would still hit for enough damage to help me out. So uh, I don't know Like I know 100% this guy's evil is not 400 Like I can probably prove it right now if I use this tag um, It's just I don't want to lose this fight I know the guy's only 400, but uh, sometimes it does come based off a tag because this guy could have uh, Orion, which right now he's a really good, um, basically a really good character, but there's drawbacks to using him because he can get one-shotted, which is what I'm trying to look for here. Like there, are, Some of these guys have really good tags, it's just no way of knowing. Like, yeah, this guy says it's 250, but there's no guarantee of that. Or his tag could be changing currently because he's got a new character. I'm gonna try this one because I haven't actually tried this person, so 
Yeah, I think they should change the tag system. I think that would probably be really hard to do, but um, yeah, so this guy went with the setup uh, basically speedsters. They're not quite speedsters, but they're like in between that mid-tier and speedster because uh, they're like 6, 7 speed, uh, 8 speed, stuff like that. And if they have speed orbs, they're a little bit faster. So they're like in between that speedster, mid-tier character. But um, a lot, I mean a lot of people have been, I've been seeing these two characters pop up quite a bit. Uh, Chung Lee and Orion together. I don't know why people have been putting them together. Um, I mean, they're a pretty good pair, but in my opinion, it's better just to use one or the other because Orion is going to get killed. Like, I mean, look at his HP. He's going to do a ton of damage. He's going to, he could probably one shot a Buffalo. Uh, he's going to one shot for sure, X27, because <laughs> his minimum damage is like 40k plus because he has three uh, attack orbs. Um, plus, uh, he is zoom, or not zoom, I'm zoomorph, and then he's mythic, so ton of damage, strong attack against that. Uh, I don't know about the spinner one, because I haven't actually seen him before. I mean, I've seen him, but I haven't actually gone up against one in PvP in quite a while, so I don't know how good he actually is, so this is a kind of a weird setup. I know these two, and in my opinion, Chung Lee or Orion, if I had to pick, I would kill Orion. Because, like, even though Chung Lee gets more, like, in terms of attacks, it's gonna get more attacks. Orion's gonna hit like a tank. Um, if I knew 100% my X27 could take down Orion, I would just use that, save my tag. But, um, X27, yeah, he gets the strong attack against Necro Mythic. It's just, he's gonna hit for like 14. If he crits, he'll hit for the 15, but I think I'm gonna play it safe, use my tag, and just one shot Orion, and then hope I can survive. Like, Chung Li Li is gonna hit pretty good, especially if it uses a tag. This guy, I have no idea, so we're about to find out um, what's gonna happen here. So let's take down him, and I would have survived um, not using my tag. Because he hit for 17 with the Brutal. But there's no, there was no way of me knowing that. Because I haven't gone up against enough Orions. To know how much damage they're going to do. And stuff like that. And unfortunately for me. They used their tag and they targeted. The stronger character. But I haven't gone up against enough teams like this. So... Um, I'm slowly getting used to which characters to take down and stuff like that in terms of these. Like these two, like uh, Chung Li and Orion. Like I said, I would, I would always take down Orion. But then now you gotta throw in this guy. Like, I mean, it kind of changes it up a little bit now. Um, now I don't know who to attack. Like, yeah, if Colossus gets off an attack, he's gonna kill these guys. Base damage is 60k. Doesn't matter. But... I don't know if I'm going to have enough damage to kill one of these guys now. I don't know. Because he's got the, the boost and shield, which kind of shields 6k. No, I'm going to do enough damage to kill him, but is it worth... Hmm. I don't know who's worse to power up, honestly. Like, this guy's probably a lot worse to power up because he's got the triple. Because he's heroic. Um... I think I'm just going to attack Chung Li. Yeah, 14. So that's what I was saying. I don't know. I didn't know if Orion was he was going to hit for 14 or not. So I'm still getting used to fighting certain characters now in terms of the newer characters. So I know X27 now. If it goes up against Chung Li, it's for 14. If it goes up against Orion, it does have a chance for the Brutal, which is 17. So I know that now, but before this fight, I had basically no data in terms of the attacks and stuff like that. Like, I've gone up against a few of them, but, like, you have to do PvP quite a bit, or you have to see those characters in PvP quite a bit to get used to countering them. Um, especially 
Buffalo versus Orion. Buffalo, depending on how, if they're equally matched Evos, he can one shot them de depending on the orbs. So, orbs also play a factor. Um, but, uh, like, if you guys are going up against certain people and stuff like that, and you know what their tag or their defense team is, then you could easily counter them. But, like I said, I only use certain characters. Like, if you notice, tag used to be tag, used to be tag, used to be tag. That's why these guys are all 200. Uh, Dezinger was once my tag, not anymore. And then we have Buffalors that I'm leveling because of the credits, not for any other reason. Uh, this guy just gets leveled because I use him quite a bit in PvE. Um, like, there's certain characters that are just getting leveled based off of certain things, so... And a lot of the time, it is based off of the... The tag. Basically, why I level characters is tag. So, certain characters are just there because of that. Because I know a ton of people that um, play, like if I played a lot, like if I played every single day like I used to, yeah, of course I would have a ton of different characters at level 200 and I would be able to set up different teams and stuff like that. It's just I don't play enough or I don't play as much as I used to. Like right now I have, for some reason, I just want to play PvP, but sometimes I don't want to play PvP. So... It just happens that way, and uh, I don't play mutants enough to actually get a ton of characters to level 200. Like, the next character I'm leveling to 200 is going to be another tag, so it's going to be a tank, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Like, yeah, I could level Orion to be my tag, but I don't have two of them, so can't make them into a platinum. Plus, um, even if I did want to use them as a tag, it's still more beneficial for me to use uh, an actual tank than Orion. Yeah, he hits like, sort of like a tank, not as much as a tank would hit for. Like, Colossus versus Orion, who's going to do more damage. Base damage, Colossus is doing more damage in terms of tank, or in terms of tags. Because tags don't really go based off of speed, it goes based off of how much damage you're going to do. So. Um, yeah, don't worry about too much about what the speed and stuff like that is, uh, if you're looking for a tag or if you're leveling a tag. Uh, if Orion's the best character you have, then yeah, use, use him as, uh, the character to use as a tank. Like, if you don't have Colossus, or if you don't have a really good tank, he can be used as a tag. Like, he's not gonna be the best tag in the world. But he's still strong enough to be a tag in terms of damage. So tags go based off damage, not actual speed. But of course, the people with the most damage tend to be tanks. So that's why you see a ton of uh, tanks as tags. Like if there was a character that had sort of like Orion, it could be used as a, a tag. But I think most people... Like, yeah, they'll level up Orion real quick, use him a, as a tag for a while, but then they'll level up another character uh, to use as their permanent tag for a while. At least that's what I do. I mean, some people don't play enough to do that. Um, like, I don't play enough to actually have a ton of characters leveled. Some people do. So, yeah, I guess it, it depends on how much you're actually playing and stuff like that. Um... But, yeah, that's basically all we're doing. Um, but yeah, I always get a ton of questions about like tags, orbs, and stuff like that. It all depends on what you're looking for. Uh, certain situations, or certain orbs are going to be better than other ones. Uh, certain characters are going to be better than other ones. Um, I don't know, there's a ton of different things that go into it, so... Yep. I don't want to win one last one. I think we started this video off with 1500 points and we're stuck at 1500 points so eh, it does happen sometimes even though I play a lot sometimes you don't get anything although you do get fame and you do get credits so you do get stuff but uh, in terms of points I don't think I actually got anything although 
at the start of today, I did gain like four or five hundred points. No, I think four hundred points. So yeah, it's better. Like I still gained something today. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of stuff they can work on. I mean, we just got a new reactor, which is really nice. Uh, hopefully, we'll start to get new divisions. Uh, we continuously get new characters. Like they just made freaking Orion. Orion's actually sort of relevant in terms of uh, characters right now because he's pretty good. But yeah, he he doesn't uh, he doesn't have that HP, man. Even with the HP orbs, uh, he's still getting one shot in. So. But yeah, he's a really good character. I'm hoping they bring Surfer back at some point, like in the whole challenge hall thing. Although I don't have any more challenge hall credit or tokens because I spent them all. Um, maybe at some point they'll bring him back as like the side character or something because some of those older characters I still need. So we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this one. This is probably going to be the last one I do for the PvP, at least for today. Um, Although I'm bulk recording, so we'll see when these come out. Hopefully we'll have some new stuff by then. And uh, we'll continue to play PvP. I mean, we have eight days. I could probably, if I do it every single day, I could probably play an hour a day. That's a ton of fights. I could probably easily get into top 3%. Because uh, we're already top 5% as long as I don't get attacked too much, which we probably are. But we'll see how it actually works out. Um... Depending on how close we are to top 1%, I might go for it. It all depends on the points, honestly. If it's close enough to the amount of points we have within the last like day or two to get 1%, I'll go for it just because um, I haven't got one in a while. It's just, for me, it's not really beneficial. Extra 500 gold is really not going to do too much for me. Yeah, it's extra gold, but... In terms of actually playing, it depends on how I feel. Like today I play, played a lot, I felt like playing a lot, but tomorrow I might not feel like playing at all. So it all comes down on to whether or not I'm gonna play mutants every single day. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I think that's gonna be about it for this one. If you guys did make it this far, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll continue to go for that top 3% because we need the characters. So 100% I'm going for top 3% top 1% all depends, like I said, so we'll see what happens there, but we'll talk to you guys later.